guys, it's Gwyneth and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, we are doing a decluttering video. Well, I didn't declutter a ton, but I did get rid of a good bit in my opinion. My goal wasn't to purge and get rid of, you know, things that I still loved but needed to part from. It wasn't that, it was just I was realizing that there were some that were okay but I wasn't loving and they're covering up the ones I do love and those aren't getting pulled and it was just kind of more on the lines of getting rid of stuff so my favorites don't get wasted. If you're interested in seeing me decluttering my eyeshadow collection, then just keep watching. First drawer right here, and this has my bigger palettes in it, like my full-size palettes. And then this next row, I have a box of individual shadows, little quads, any kind of liquid eyeshadow, and then I have three big Urban Decay palettes back here. So I do have a lot to go through. So I decided to just go ahead and put these all on the floor because I found that was easier with my lipstick collection. I have, I think it was 44 palettes. So definitely it's hard to use all your palettes when you have that many, and so I don't know, I probably won't get rid of a ton, but I do want to get rid of at least some that aren't getting attention. So, I think I'm going to start by pulling my favorites, ones that I know I will not get rid of. No, know I'm keeping the Kristen Dominique Latte palette. I just got this, and this is gorgeous keeping it. I am for sure keeping the Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas palette. I love that as well. For sure keeping the Modern Renaissance palette. I just finally got my hands on this, and I love it, so I am keeping that. I know with these Morphe palettes, I do want to keep... For sure these two, this is the 3502 palette, just their new release with all these really, let me pull that off for you, all these really warm toned shades. And honestly, I love this palette, but I've only used it twice because I just, I have so many and I forget about it. So that's a big reason why I'm decluttering. Same with this Jaclyn Hill palette. This is like one of the best palettes ever and it's only had use a handful of times. Keeping this as well. I know for sure I'm keeping the Tartise Pro. This is actually one of my favorite, hands down, all time favorite palettes and it needs more love so we're keeping that. I'm for sure keeping this but more because of a collector's item. It's the Marc Jacobs Icon 7 in the shade 216, the Enigma. That's the palette name. I'm not the biggest fan of the formula, but the shadows are gorgeous, like the colors. This actually is probably expired by now. I got this in 2016. It doesn't say an expiration on here, but I love this palette. It's a Violet Voss Laura Lee palette. This isn't sold anymore, but I love it, so I'm going to keep it. I know for sure I'm keeping this. Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 eyeshadow palette. I love this. So gorgeous. For sure, keeping. I actually got this in a boxy charm. Now I'm keeping this. I just got this. My aunt gave it to me from JCat Beauty, and it's all glitter shades. And I feel like everyone just needs a good glitter palette, so I'm going to hold on to this for more like special occasions when I want to really have a lot of glitter. I'm also keeping this Too Faced Chocolate Chip palette. Y'all have seen me use this a million times. This is such a good go-to palette. And it's very travel friendly since it's tiny. For sure keeping the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. I love this. Such a staple. Another staple I'm sure y'all aren't surprised I'm keeping is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I use this all the time. This has seen so much love on my channel. So no surprise that I'm keeping this. Others that I'm for sure keeping are these smaller palettes. So the Studio On The Go I like both of these palettes that came in BoxyCharm. This is the Cool Down palette, the Cool Tone. I love this. Keeping, I'm also keeping the Warm Up, which is the Warm Tone palette. I'm also keeping both of the ColourPop. Honestly, if I could have every ColourPop palette they've ever came out with, I totally would. They are so affordable and they have such gorgeous shades and great formula. This is the She palette and this is the Yes Please palette. This one's Warm Tone. Keeping both of these. Last for sure keeping are these two from the Balm. This is Meet Matte Nude. And then I have Meet Matrimony. Um, I don't pull for these as much, but I feel like I will because of this declutter. As you can see, I have a lot of Basics palettes, and I don't necessarily need to keep all of them, but they are really good. I know for sure I'm getting rid of this. I did a video over this, and it's like a dupe for the Urban Decay Smoky... Ooh. The Urban Decay Smoky Palette. Um, it really was a great dupe, but I have this one. I'm definitely not going to get use out of both of them, so I'm just going to pass this on to a friend or a sister. I'm going to keep both of the Urban Decay palettes. So here's the Smoky one I was just talking about. And then this one is actually expired, but this was my first high-end makeup palette, makeup product period that I've ever had. So I'm 
this holds a special place in my heart, so I'm definitely keeping this. I am going to pass on this. This is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette, and I bought it because it was on sale, and I thought I would get a lot of use out of it, but being honest, I think I've maybe used this once, and I don't... I just love the packaging. Like, it's so gorgeous, but I don't want it to go to waste, so I'm going to pass that on as well. I will be keeping this. It's a palette from Ulta Beauty, and they actually have really good products, and I just love all the fun colors in here. I don't know if I'll get a ton of use out of it, but I think when I want to do a really fun look, this will be a good palette to go to, so I'm going to hold on to this. One thing I'm for sure passing on is this Kylie eyeshadow palette, holiday palette. I did not really care for this that much, and I know some people really do like this formula though, so maybe I can pass it on to someone that'll like it more. I wasn't really a fan, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pass it along. This one I love, but I broke it, so I might as well just toss it. I like completely broke out this super pretty one, and then these are okay, but they're just like a gold and a brown. I have a million of those in my collection, so... I think I may, I mean my friends may want the gold or brown so I'll give them that option but it is missing this super pretty white shade in it. I don't know about these Kat Von D. I do love the formula. I just don't grab them that much. But they are so unique. These have to be maybe pile. I'm going to have maybes that come back in the end. I definitely want to get rid of this. It's from Crown Beauty. It's the Glam Metals. It came in the BoxyCharm within the past few months. And the quality is not bad. The eyeshadows are actually good. It's just I'm not a crazy fan of the colors. There's just more palettes I like more. I dislike that it's hard to make a look just from this palette. You have to pull from others. So I'm just not in love with it. And there are a lot that I do love. So I'm just going to move on from this. Okay, I think I will probably keep this. It's from Winky Lux. It's their Kitten palette. This also came in BoxyCharm. But I really do like the shades in this. I think it's very cute. I love the way they presented it and the lineup of the colors. I remember the quality I did like, so I'll keep this. This I think I'll hold on to. It's just where I keep all my individual shadows. So I have these are all from Ofra, and then these are Makeup Geek. This one is from Pure Sonore, Sonore Diaries. We got it in BoxyCharm. And it does look pretty, but it also looks a lot like... It reminds me of the Studio on the Go palette. I feel like that's pretty similar. And and I like this one. This one's already a favorite, so I think I'm going to hold on to this one. This one's only been used a handful of times, so I'll pass this one on. I do love the packaging, though. They have the marble packaging. So gorgeous. And then rose gold. I have these little guys in here as well. I'm for sure keeping this Becca. I think it's a quad in the shade Eclipse. So gorgeous. I love the green in there. I just got this, so I'm going to keep it. This is just another fun glitter from Ulta, and I'm just going to hold on to it because you can never have enough glitter. Keep this as well. Smashbox and it's just a Smashbox trio. This one I picked up from Marshalls. I think I want to keep it. I just have so many pinks but I think that's so pretty so yeah I'm keeping all of those. So this little bin isn't changing. I think this little Kat Von D trio I'm going to pass on just because I do have the big palette and I have a feeling I'm going to end up keeping those. So I'm going to pass this on. It was broken when I got it from the store, but it's still pretty colors. The brown, pink, and this beautiful light white shade. And I think maybe one of my friends could get more use out of that, so I'll pass it along. This one is some intense colors. I think this one is as well. This is Naked Cosmetics, and then this one I'm opening right now is Blink cosmetics. So we have these two and I think I'm going to keep this one just because they're kind of the same style except what really I do like about this is the green but I have another palette that has a green just like this so I'm going to pass on this but I will keep this one just because I love that rose like rosy pink shade and then all these different shades of gold are perfect right down my alley. So moving on to these Urban Decay, like I said that green shade in the Naked palette that I'm passing on is because I have this one that has these multiple different green shades that I love. Um, I am going to be keeping this palette. It is the Urban Decay I guess 10 Vice Limited Reloaded palette, but I will be passing on this one. It's Urban Decay Alice Through the Looking Glass. I just don't pull for it that much. It's not as wearable, so I'm going to see if someone else get a little more love. And it's super bulky too, so it takes up a lot of space because it has all this like presentation, but there's like no makeup in here. It's just like too bulky for my taste, so I'm passing that. And I'm also passing this Urban Decay Vice palette. This one just because. I don't pull for these type of colors. I do have some crazy colors already that I'm keeping in palettes, so I think I'm good in that 
instance. So this is will be passed as well. Moving on to these mini palettes over here. I'm probably going to keep all of these. I know I like this Smashbox one and I don't really have a lot of Smashbox eyeshadow formula and so I like playing around with it. So I'm going to keep this just to play around with the formula some more. This one I'll be keeping. I love this Lorac formula. This is the Tails and Top Hats palette. Just a little mini palette. This formula is so amazing so I'm definitely keeping this. Um, I will be keeping this as well. It's the Tartlet Tease palette. Just a little mini palette. I think I will be keeping this as well. It's the Too Faced Cat Eyes palette. I really like it for um, these shadows here can be wet. Like if you get your brush wet, they turn into eyeliner. So you can do a lot of cool stuff with this. We have these four palettes left to discuss. So we have these two Kat Von D. So just thinking about Kat Von D palettes, I kept the basics and I got rid of the trio. I think I'm going to keep this one. This is the Monarch palette just because these purples are so beautiful. And I do have green eyes and they always encourage people with green eyes to wear purple. Like it's the perfect compliment. So I will hold on to this. And I'm going to hold on to this one because why not? I mean, I know I love the formula. And there is some really interesting and fun shades in here, so I'm going to hold on to it. If this doesn't get love within the next couple months, I may pass it along, but for now I'm going to keep it. Morphe. One of these I know is, the one I use the most is the T palette. I have the 35W right here, and this one is actually this gray shade popped out. I think I'm going to pass this one along because I don't really grab this ever i've used like this black sparkly shade before and some of the oranges but i have as you saw i have the 3502 palette with insane amount of oranges so i don't necessarily need this this one is a 35t palette i love this palette like i said it has all these different purples and golds which are great with my eye color um i really really go towards these colors they're kind of my safe zone so i think i will keep this the last thing i want to go to to go through is this box. So as y'all saw, I have this, and this um, eyeshadow palette came along with a contour kit and a lipstick kit, and it came in this Smashbox Light It Up box. So I kept this box because it's gorgeous, and I like to use it for my single eyeshadows. I know for sure I want to get rid of these. They are just liquid eye colors from, well, one's eyebrows and one's eyeshadow, and they're from Sim, the new Simple Colors line. Um, they were okay. They weren't bad. I just don't think I'm going to get a lot of use out of them, so I'm going to go ahead and pass these. I will be keeping this. I got this in BoxyCharm. It's a cover effects. It's a shimmer veil, and it's this beautiful shimmery pink color. I really, really like this, so I will be keeping it. I will for sure keep these three. I love the stick eyeshadows. These are all gold and bronze shades. Hands down, my favorite is this one from Bare Minerals. It's the Shadow Quickie Eye Cream Stick, and this is in the shade Pewter. I will be keeping these as well. One is the Beauty For Real, and this one's a bit more bronzed compared to the last one. I guess I could maybe get rid of this one. It's just the one that Tati collabed with, another gold one. I guess I'll pass this on because I don't need three golds. Then I have this little mini Buxom eyeshadow, and this is gold as well. But as you've seen, I have a million gold, so I'll pass this little guy on too so it doesn't get wasted. I am going to get rid of these three. They are e.l.f. smudge pots. I like them, but they honestly don't get a lot of use. I'm not the biggest fan of this purple one. It's Poppin' Party, and it's just this purple shade. I know for sure I want to get rid of that. Um, I do like this Ain't That Sweet. It's a light pink, but as y'all saw, I honestly don't wear pink a ton. I do like it, but I also have a lot of pink eyeshadow, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and pass on these. And then lastly is this bronze one, and although I love bronze, I have so much more. I could just use like this instead of that, so passing on this as well. I will be keeping these two. They are ColourPop super shock shadows this one is in the shade waddles it's just a really pretty warm tone brown and it has little tiny gold flecks in it the other one is mittens and it's just beautiful deep deep warm brown and i really do like this with the green with my green eyes as well this i can't get rid of i honestly only bought it for prom but it's a l'oreal and fallible shade in amber rush and it is gorgeous but I don't pull for it, so it's just kind of sitting there getting wasted. So I'll pass that along. And then lastly are all of these. I will be keeping all of these. They came, I have 12 of them, and they each are a trio. So there's 48 total, and they're all Ulta Beauty. 
and my sister's boyfriend got me this whole kit so I really I'm thinking about doing a dedicated video like swatching all of these and making an eye look so now I'm going to put everything away guys so that is it for my eyeshadow collection I'm pleased with what I got rid of I may end up having to do it again in a little while because I do still have a lot so it may come around to where I have to get rid of some again so I'm not wasting but as of right now I'm really happy with how my collection is looking also if you're curious what I'm wearing on my eyes today it is the Jaclyn Hill palette actually filming that video the other day reminded me how much I wanted to use that palette so I went ahead and used it today let me know what y'all want to see decluttered next because I am slowly going through my collection if you're wanting to see my lipstick declutter I will have that in the description down below and I think that's all for this video I hope you guys like comment and subscribe down below and I will see you in my next one bye Thank you.